Okay. I don't think I did any of my preparations yet, but I believe we're gonna go see the shaman, or we're gonna go try to find the shaman. Which, like I commented on last stream, funny that they seem more involved with the plot in this game than in the actual Explorers of Sky! Um, I just got some stuff I need to store. I'm not gonna deal with all these now. And let me check the shops. Eh, nothing there. Any cool TMs? Nope, just orbs. Let me store some. Let's deposit like 2,000 of this. Yeah. No, it's about even. I just want to get into it. I'm ready to go. Horn Valley. Giggity? Question mark? Family Guy reference? There seems to be a valley near the entrance to Mount Horn. It's gotta be Horn Valley. Let's get through this and catch up with the survey team. Ooh, Silver Spikes. Also, this is one of the future songs. I think. Yeah, yeah it is. It might be one of the ones that play in the uh, Grovile special episode. But it's definitely one of the future songs. Jeez. Okay, let's be a little more careful if we can. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I don't really have anything for that. I'm just gonna have to hope that Eevee uses Quick Attack. Nope. That's fine. That's fine. I love that art of Chadot looking, like, mildly upset while Wigglytuff's just smiling at him. I don't know if exploring these whole floors is a good idea because of just how powerful the Pokemon are. But... New move, huh? Yes! Thunderbolt! Inflicts damage on all enemies within a one-tile range. Yes. That's so good. I will definitely be using a Ginseng on that. I'm actually moves. This needs to be changed around. Yeah, actually, that's good. Do I have Orion Berries? I don't think that I do. No, I don't. That's not good. What? That was a dead end. Oh, yeah, sure. Welcome aboard. Um, your name can be... Uh, I don't know. You just seem like an Ellie to me. I suppose I could have brought other teammates along. That's fine. Oh my goodness. That is not good! Let's not have that happen, please. God damn it. This dungeon's hard. Should I bring teammates to this? I don't think so. They're more of a liability. I don't think I have anything that's good against fighting types. Oh, hi, Heracross. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Everything here is so strong. My attacks keep missing. Oh, that's right, as Lumber. No, 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 no. Ugh. 
Ugh, why is this dungeon so hard? It'd be really nice to get like a super powerful fighting type Pokemon on our team. I have to be careful now. I mean, at least I'm... I'm so glad they removed Runaway from Eevee in this ROM hack, because it sucks. Just having your partner freaking book it the other way every time they're low on HP. Oh, yay! Uh, okay. Well, it feels only right since you're another lady. Alright, no manky for us. Goodness gracious. Oh my Okay, tell me what I was supposed to do there. Okay! Floor 10. Let's make another save state. Not load state. I swear to god, if I would have accidentally clicked load state, I would have cried. I'm tired of exploring all over these floors. <laughs> I've been in this dungeon long enough, man. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, okay. Halfway point. Deep Horn Valley. Oh, goodness. Thank you. If I know anything about these, uh, the way that this game has been so far, um, we should only have a couple floors in this midway point. I like Polyrath's, like, fainting animation. He's, like, still sticking up his fists as he faints. Apple. There we go. See what I mean? We've come really far, but I still don't think we're near. Wait! I hear something up ahead! It sounds like Ambrose! Ephros, what's gotten into you? Ah, uh, please excuse my little misdirection. Hey, Ephros, we made it! Ah, it's you two! How was your journey? It wasn't too treacherous, I take it? It was fine. Why did you want to go ahead of us again? Was it for dramatic flair? Preposterous! We would never make that sort of decision for such a silly reason. It was for research, actually. Sorry for leaving you in the dust. I just wanted to see the place before nightfall. The sun is already beginning to set. Precisely. We would never leave a Pokemon behind! Does that mean that you'll stop wandering off from us? I'm trying, all while I really am. So, I'm assuming that you three have already surveyed the place? Did you find anything worth noting? Unfortunately, not much. Whole well, place is wrong. Shaman should be at the end of a valley. Well, this here's the end of the valley, and there ain't no shaman. This must be significant for one reason or another, I'm sure. But it isn't what we're looking for. Why, you're just giving up? What about the area ahead of us? There's no use, Pikachu. We are the survey team, after all. The area has already been surveyed. Now we can move on to the next exploration. We already have another lead, Ampharos. Oh, you're right. Pikachu, font acquaintance. What is your name again? Uh, Callahan. 
Callahan, fond acquaintance. What do you know about the encroaching nightmares? N nightmares? What do you mean? I haven't been. I haven't had any nightmares recently. Sure, I've heard about it uh around town and all, but who cares? Nightmares are all that everyone can talk about nowadays. Nightmares have never meant anything, and they never will. Yeah. My, my, my. And here I thought that you would at least be a better liar than that. That was pitiable. Who are you calling a liar? What are you- I shan't let you finish that statement, Callahan. If the nightmares are true, then the survey team is currently staring across from the greatest risk that we've ever faced. Not like we've faced much so far. You must be taken down by us, here and now, in battle, for time itself. Wait, we don't have to fight. We aren't doing anything, honestly. That's enough from you, scoundrels. You're a lunatic. For the record, I know that we're not very experienced as of yet, but you don't have to say that in front of them. Regardless, we must simply try for all of our sakes. For time! Now, Rose, come on. Don't you think that sounds a little corny? How could you say such a terrible thing? I'm almost speaking facts. Er, uh, Callahan? Is it my style that bothers you so? Callahan, I think this this is our chance to leave without fighting them. We don't have to do this. Just go along with it, Majok. It makes things easier. Hey, are you all done over there? So you let us come along this exploration just so that you can fight us, even after acting all nice earlier? Well, not exactly. If it's a fight you want, then it's a fight you're going to get. I can reciprocate that. We, Afro Smallwile and Machoke of Spindus Cafe Surfe Team, will be your end, nightmarish interlopers. Ah, uh, I love Thunderbolt. There we go. What does taunt? I can only use attacking moves. Easy. Easy! Just stop, okay? Leave us alone. I don't know why I'm appearing in those nightmares. I wish I did, I really do. But, in but instead, we can't go on a simple mission without someone having a problem with us. Do you want to know what's really happening? Oh, who am I kidding? You bad Pokemon wouldn't listen to me anyways. Why would you ever listen to someone like me? I'm supposed to be disrupting time, whatever that means. Well, I'm not disrupting anything, and neither is Xavier. Quit while you're behind. They look pretty roughed up. Do you think they're okay? Who cares? They're not worth any more of our time. I'm done here. My, my, my. Those two have incredible spunk, do they not? That's one way to put it. Beat us so bad we can't even stand up. What do you think of them, Ampharos? They do not seem to have malice in their hearts. Rather, it is a simple disregard for all others, at least in the case of Callahan. Though, if them blokes can take us out that easy... Indeed, training shall be our top priority in the near future. For the time being, however... Resting here is not too bad of an idea. The clouds parted over North Treasure Town. Callahan, are you okay? Of course not. Listen, what you said out there today with the survey team, I'm just a little worried, that's all. I think that you need to take a step back, you know? You've been really on edge recently. And how are you not? We haven't done anything wrong, yet here we are being hounded by all of these random Pokemon. Well, I mean, we kind of did do something to Cresselia. No, we didn't! That was Giratina, not us. And because of Giratina and Darkrai, we have to deal with this nonsense. This is a, just a one-time issue. We have to live with the effects of these nightmares that are out of our control. Skunk Tank was right. We can't trust anyone. 
Those survey team freaks even pretended to be friendly before setting us up. How long do we have until the guild starts to turn on us, too? I'm sure that Chadot wants to speed up that process. Okay, whatever, I get it. Even if you're right, you shouldn't act this way. You can't just- you can't just go around picking fights with everyone. How does that help our situation? I'm not doing that. That's Darker Eye getting us into trouble. Well, all that we can do is try to find another lead tomorrow. Let's take it one day at a time. Good night. How did things get this way? It wasn't supposed to be like this. When I returned to the past, I simply wanted to find closure with Callahan. We were such close partners and shared so many experiences. We were together through the good and the bad. Yet I lost connection with Callahan on such sudden terms. But it can never be that simple. This is an entirely different past, an entirely different world, than the past I know. The vague familiarity of this world taunts me. It's as if only my most useless memories of the past are still applicable here. The routine nature of Treasure Town's daily cycle is apparent as ever, yet I still can't find Callahan. Moreover, a second temporal crisis is somehow unfolding in this world, bereft of the Time Gear Guardians. How is that possible? Even my knowledge of how that event unfolded appears to be all but useless. This world is just a cruel joke. How is it that all my knowledge that I've gathered from the past is so utterly worthless? Have all of my efforts proved to be for naught? If Celebi was here, I'm sure that she would knock some sense into me. It hardly matters if this plight appears to be a hopeless one. The world is still at stake. Besides, they seem to be quite good at winning hopeless battles. I have faith in Team Charm's plan. Once they return here, they should have a much better idea of how to stop the disruption of time. Good to know. Up and out, it's morning! <laughs> and that brings us back to today. I am very surprised to report that we did not hear word of any new leads yesterday. Since it appears that no one has found anything substantial to this point, we ask that you continue searching for clues about the location of both Darkrai and Cresselia. That is all. Alright everyone, work hard again today! Let's hurry out of here and find another place to explore, Callahan. And there they go again. I don't understand those two. Surely they must know that I suspect them of hiding information about Cresselia. I've made that as clear as possible, short of outright stating it in front of the guild. But rather than just confessing their information, they've decided to appear even more suspicious. They've started to actively avoid me, even during dinner. How is that supposed to help us, or even help them? I already told you that, Chata! Don't you remember? If they're hiding something, then you scared them away once you started ta talking about consequences! I'm sorry, Guildmaster, but that just doesn't make any sense. Why not? Guildmaster, this is how the guild has always functioned. You know this as well as I do. We strive for our princesses to become accountable, accepting responsibility for their actions. That's why I deter disobedience with the threat of punishment. It teaches our princesses that urgent issues only become worse when ignored. Then why are Callahan and Xavier ignoring this issue? Because you haven't granted me permission to punish them. Ever since the night when they went without dinner. They didn't know that. They don't know that. Okay, they don't know that, but shouldn't that mean that they still fear the threat of punishment? They do fear it! That's why they've been avoiding you! But that isn't how it works! The apprentices are suitable for the guild to... The apprentices that are suitable for the guild don't do that! Things will be much easier for all of us if Callahan and Xavier speak to me directly! They just don't get it! And why's that? Hey, 
you. Whoa, where did you come from? I'm hiding in place there near that tree, apparently. Who are you? Don't worry about that for now. I've been waiting for you, Pikachu. And it looks like the Eevee's with you, too. And you were just waiting outside the guild entrance for us? What are you, a stalker? How do you know who we are? Or that we would be here? It's not exactly a secret, you know. Over the past few days, you've become the talk of this town. Oh, so you're just someone else who has a problem with us! Not at all. I don't know you personally, but it's obvious that you've been gaining a negative reputation around here. I know how it feels to be ostracized. There's a place that I want to show both of you. I'll be waiting to the east of Treasure Town. Come alone, and be ready for an exploration. I don't believe it for a second. Some stalker comes up to us and just wants to escort us somewhere? Yeah, right. This is going to be another setup. This does seem a little weird. But maybe she's being sincere. She didn't sound like she was accusing us of anything. You never know. Besides, where else would we explore today? I don't know about going alone with her, though. I want to check up on Breloom again. If we run into any funny business, I want him by our side. Hey, Breloom. We wanted to come by again and ask you for some help. Is he spacing out right now? Huh? Whoa! It's Callahan and Xavier too! It's really you! I'm just a little out of it right now, you know? He's buried, man. The new stuff's crazy! Oh! You want some too, right? I just... I didn't even think about that! Breloom, have you really been doing this every day? It's still early in the morning. That's quitter talk! Uh, so, you don't want anything? Are you okay? Well, of course I am! What a stupid question! I'm living my best life, baby! Nothing's going on, nope! Anyways, we were wondering if you wanted to go on an exploration today? We could really use some... Vida! Give me another one of that new drink! Or get it. Oh, sorry. What were you talking about? Get a grip, Breloom. Huh? Yo, you're killing the vibe right now. I know that you're not just having a good time at the cafe. Spinda told us the story. What happened to the Breloom that was on the expedition with us? I... You're better than this. What? What? Looks like we're on our own again today. Let's meet up with that Pokemon outside of Treasure Town. Hang on, let me sort some stuff. Fight Spinda. Okay, then I'll be right back. Hey, Electrifier, can you make Iron Tail at the top now? And we do this. There we go. Hi, Spinda. Another Ginseng. Put it in my mouth. Added the Ginseng. And let's do our gummies now. I see you are a true connoisseur. Hi, nice Smeargle. You want to join our team? Yeah, 
sure. Uh, yeah. Your name shall be... Frida. I would like to go to the recycle shop, though. Yay! I want a gold ticket. Yeah, I'd love to. Let's pick a yellow card. Is it a win? Is it not? So is it a win or not? Oh, don't tell me. It's a big win. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> don't tell me. It's a loss, right? That's right. Hey, why not calm down? Glensor, that's not too bad. Okay, um, the boxes. Let's do that real quick, too. Is an apple. Get me out of here. Silver bow. I need the defense scarf. I need my silver spikes. Two regular apples. One pig apple. I'll take a couple blood. Oh, actually, I'll take all my blast seeds. Two heal seeds. Two max elixirs. Actually, I'll take three max elixirs. I'm a skateboard. Mm. It only, quote unquote, only took me about 30 minutes to get all the regular ch mystery dungeon y chores done. And we're gonna go. Yes, I would like to follow the mysterious Pokemon. Hey, Callahan, this place seems like it's close to Gloomy Forest, don't you think? You're right, it is. We're just outside Murky Forest, to the south of the fog that covers Gloomy Forest and Foggy Forest. Sometimes that fog spills over to Murky Forest, but today it looks like it's min minimal. Is this the part where we're ambushed by some hiding Pokemon? Huh? If you really think that's what's happening, you should just leave right now. But I know that you don't believe that. You've already decided that coming this far without any allies was worth the risk. You can stop making that stupid face whenever you feel like it. I know a bad Pokemon when I see them, and you're not one. Do you think that you're the only Pokemon to be misunderstood? <laughs> you have no idea. That's why I led you here. At the end of Murky Forest, the rest of my team is waiting for you to meet them. Your team? I didn't realize that you had a team. What's it called? More importantly, you still haven't even told us your name. Oh, that's right. Now that we've become acquainted, let me properly introduce myself. Call me Weavile, the leader of Team AWD. Team AWD? Do you mean the same Team AWD that's longtime enemies of Team Charm? The Band of Thieves? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I not worth talking to because of my reputation? Does that make me the scum of the world that should be taken down? What do you, what do you think, Pikachu? I think that you're a weird stalker that has something planned for us. What that is, I don't know. But you better not hold us back in this forest. Callahan! So, the Pikachu's name is Callahan. And your name? Xavier. Follow me, Callahan and Xavier. And, to set the record straight, it's you that should worry about holding me back. I think I just need to stop playing. 
Well, you know, thank you to everybody who, uh, who has been watching. Whether that be in the past, the present, and or future. But I will see you guys next time. Peace.